song I'd ever written because I, I had this piece of music and I kind of liked the music of it, you know, and I was kind of having fun arranging it. It's kind of haunting and different than anything I'd ever written. But it, like, sometimes, uh, I know Matt is the same way. A lot of songwriters, you know, the music sort of pours out of you first and then the music sort of tells you what the word should be about. And I just knew that this song wasn't going to be like anything else. And I've always been a big fan of, of mystery novels and stuff, so I thought, I'll write a, a you know, like a, sh a short story, like a, a mystery with characters and stuff. And then the more I worked on it, the dumber it got. <laughs> and so, but I couldn't stop, I couldn't just leave it alone, you know? I kept like, there was this voice saying, finish this thing. So I was, um, I was living in LA at the time, and I was working on a little demo of it, and my wife came to get me for dinner, and she walked in, and she goes, what's that you're working on? I said, oh God, it's a stupid song about a town in Nebraska where there's this river that goes through it and these characters and this girl goes missing and nobody knows what happened. It's so stupid. It's like, she went, uh, no, that's like the coolest song you've ever written in your life. <laughs> I said, no, it's not. It's stupid. And she said, that is a hit song. And I, I swear, I kind of finished it and recorded it and put it on that album I was making just to show her. <laughs> Eight months later, it was number one in five countries. I know, totally it pissed me off. <laughs> I hate when she's right. It's so close. It's called Hazard. <laughs>
Nebraska.